zero and lift off. spacecraft safely landed, have a crew transfer, and successfully take off back to Earth. Another big program we have here is our uh, aeronautics education lab where we teach about um, how planes fly, lift, drag, thrust, uh, forces in motion. We talk about different controls of aviation. We actually get them on flight simulators where they actually take off and land at an airport. You can um, get a whole different perspective on flight and aviation on so many levels. Another program we're starting is an after-school program, uh, Lego Robotics, where we're going to teach programming language um, using this program Mindstorm and the NXT Lego Robotic Models. Kids will be uh, building a machine, whether it's a swing, a car, whatever, whatever the assignment is, or whatever their imagination takes them to, and learning how to actually program that, that robot to uh, be responsive to touch, light, sound, distance, temperature, you name it. Um, it's it's going to be a fun actual program. We also have other programs in there where, with microgravity where they actually use uh, underwater tanks where they build things. We um, also have different goggles we can use to invert their vision to kind of simulate what it's like to lose your sense of uh, direction in outer space. Our Challenger Center is part of a network of about 50 Challenger Centers throughout the United States and the world. Challenger Centers were founded by the families of the Challenger astronauts to continue the educational mission that those astronauts were not able to fulfill. My name is Charles Kamana, Charlie. I was uh, born and raised in New York City. Uh, became an astronaut in 1996. If I was a kid, I would have loved to have um, grown up and been able to go to uh, an environment where you can simulate being in space. I mean, when I was a kid, if I had a box to get inside, if I was in a space capsule. We want to give kids the kind of excitement that they would feel that they would want to be 
become an astronaut who would go to Mars one day. And when they're sitting grinding through math problems in class, think, you know what, there is some kind of higher purpose here. Maybe one day I'll be looking back on the Earth from Mars and, and saying hi to my folks from up there or something like that. Unfortunately, in a lot of schools, students don't learn science in a hands-on way. They're learning science from a book, or they're learning science from a lecture, and that's not doing science. Doing science is getting your hands dirty and getting involved. Okay, Houston, we're rolling out on final, and it looks beautiful. Roger, Joe, we copy, and your winds are 250 at 17, gusting to 21. Good, huh? Roger that. Thank you.